This is everything that needs to be in Mortal Kombat 12. This video may or may not trigger a lot of people, so keep in mind, this is just my opinion. I've come here today to discuss the future of Mortal Kombat 12. I'm guessing that's what the next game is going to be. That's just my guess. They said Injustice 3 not coming out. That's what they said. Let's discuss what needs to be in this game and what doesn't need to be in this game. All right, because I don't know when it's going to come out. I'm guessing it's going to come out early next year. Mortal Kombat 11, it's all right. It's probably one of the most balanced Mortal Kombats that has ever come out. But let's be honest, bro. Bro, there's so much dumb stuff in the game. Can we agree on that? I hate to be the one to complain, but like, come on, bro. If you really be playing this game, you have, you at least have one sort of gripe with this game. You have at least one problem with this game that you don't like. At least one. Let's run through the list. Let's run through everything that's wrong with Mortal Kombat 11. And let's see what needs to be on Mortal Kombat 12. All right. So the first thing that comes to my mind, like instantly, like that's a big problem, is the fact that we don't have combo breakers. I'm gonna demonstrate it for you guys. The breakaway system, whoever thought that was a good idea, you need to get fired. This is one of the stupidest features in the game. I'm gonna be real. And I'm sure 90% of the community would agree with me. People that really be grinding this game, they don't like breakaway. No one likes, chat, does anyone here like breakaway? Be 100% real. I liked the guaranteed combo breaker from Mortal Kombat X. MKX was a fucking stupid ass bro unbalanced nothing made sense everyone was just op as shit ass game but the guaranteed combo breaker that was that was good look at this chat this should not be a thing that should not be in the game it should not bro you spent two meters just for you to get blown up. It doesn't make sense. Take this out. We I speak on behalf of this community. We do not want that in Mortal Kombat 12. We don't. And if you do, you're fucking stupid. You're not in the community. I don't give a fuck what you have to say. I'm banishing you from the community. You don't belong here. If you think it should be in the game, I'm sorry. Moving on from breakaway to the next thing, the meter system, chat. I liked Mortal Kombat X's meter system more than this. I don't like the fact that you just build meter just for nothing. L look at my meter bottom left. Look at my meter. I don't like that. You just get a uh, breakaway like every two seconds. I think you should have to earn your uh, your meter. I think you should have to earn it. That's just my opinion. Cause it's like, they have two different meters. They have defensive meter and they have offensive meter. If they bring back that system, make it to where the defensive meter doesn't build automatically and then it'll be fine. Cause like bro, every time I open someone up with Scorpion, they just do that. I never get a combo because they always have breakaway ready and they're not even doing anything. They just build it passively. Chat, you just sitting on your ass and you just get all this meter. Like, bro, you're not even working hard for it. You lazy fuck. You don't deserve that shit. You didn't do shit for that. You dumb motherfucker. Okay, moving on to Fatal Blows. Okay, honestly, I don't really mind Fatal Blow. I actually think it's an okay feature, to be honest. As long as they're punishable, full combo punishable, I think it's fine. Yeah, it's an armored move that does 30%, but if they block it, which is pretty easy to block, um, you just get a full combo. I feel like they could nerf it to the point where, like, say I'm on the first round. I missed this, right? Maybe you shouldn't get it back in that same round. It will only recharge in the next round. That could be a fair balancing fix. But even then, I don't really have a problem with Fatal Blows, to be honest. I, I, I was never really the one to complain about Fatal Blows. I feel like a lot of casual players complain about this, which is fine. Y'all are casuals. If you want to learn how to counter Fatal Blows, it's very simple. Are you with me? Are, are you watching? Are you watching? It's very simple. Stay with me. Stay with me. If you want to counter a fatal blow and get a full combo, just press this button right here. It's on the back of your controller. It's used to block. Okay? It's used to block. Are you guys listening? So all the casuals complaining about fatal blows, just see that your opponent has fatal blow and just start blocking. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing, chat. Another thing. This is one of the worst things in this fucking game chat i'm gonna be real this is one of the worst things in the game that has to get fixed it has to get fixed in the next game hold on hold on, hold on. Let, me let me hit it that right there that should not be in the game what the fuck is that yo bro why do you wake up so fast with buttons in this game are you that's instant that should not be a thing that is stupid as fuck you should not have invulnerability frames as you're getting up and then you can just instantly mash out your move hella fast and just interrupt meaties you should not be able to interrupt meaties like that meaties in this game are like impossible to time if you don't know what a meaty is it's like a move you do when like someone's trying to get up this is one of the few things one of the very few things that mortal kombat did good you cannot get up for 
free. You could not get it for free if you had no bar. And it should be like that. You should not be able to just mash out buttons on wake up. That doesn't make sense. The fuck? Gives other players a chance to fight back? Fuck that. You are on the I knocked you on your ass and you have no bar. You should not be able to get up and do what you want to do. You need to sit there like a little bitch. That's how it's supposed to be. It was like that in MKX. If you had no bar, you could not wake up with buttons. If you did, I'm blowing you up for 40% with no bar into a reset. If you think that you should be able to wake up with buns and have a vulnerability frames i don't know like i fucking hate you like genuinely you should never be on a development a gaming development team in your life i don't like how we got a guest on their wake up exactly i knocked you on your ass it's not your turn bitch it's my turn to play the fucking game flawless blocks okay okay that's another thing we got to talk about flawless blocks in my opinion i kind of like flawless blocks i feel like they could be tuned just a little bit i feel like being able to flawless block after a hit is kind of stupid like say i hit you and say i reset you with this like that right 18 frames i hit him with an 18 frame move look he can't move for 18 frames and then if i hit him again after the reset he should not be able to flawless block that the only way you should be able to flawless block if you're not getting hit and say i jump in right and then you can flawless block this like this hold on let me let me try it it's hard to time like that i think that's fine but when you do it when you do it on hit i think it gets too it gets too dumb that being said i spam flawless box on hit like i'm the one who i'm the one taking advantage of flawless block and doing it when i get hit even i know that's like kind of a stupid ass like concept the variation system in this game i think is okay in terms of being able to make your own variations i kind of think that's cool some people they just they don't they don't even want variations they just want one character no variation i like that too to be honest i don't mind i don't mind like either but if they're gonna do this system where they're making variations of a character please make every ability actually useful you just making it seem like you can choose a bunch of shit when in reality there's only like four usable things you get what i'm saying that makes no fucking sense like hell flame demon bread demon dash death spin death spear combo like bro who the fuck is using these at a top level or at a decent level no one's using this shit this shit is fucking useless and there's like there's abilities that are even banned that doesn't even make sense why would you make it if it's not allowed what type of shit does that even mean don't ever do some dumb shit like that again please don't i don't know how many banned moves are in this game but i know there's a few if you made a dumb ass broken move to the point where it's not even allowed in tournament just nerf it and then make it allowed what the fuck what type of dumbass shit is that in terms of skins i feel like you could have made it more customizable like a uh, customized the torso customize the legs like customize each uh specific part of your character you could have did that they could have went more in depth which hopefully in the next game they do because a bunch of these outfits are fucking trash like bro who the fuck is using like bro Bro, who the fuck is using this bum ass skin? If I see you in combat league wearing the skin, bro, you are not intimidating me. You look like a fucking loser and a bitch. You are not scaring me with this bum ass outfit. A big problem I have with Mortal Kombat is the fact that there's no other playable modes. Like, what the fuck do we have? The Crypt? Like, bro, we have the bum-ass Crypt. I'm gonna be real, no one is playing this shit after the first day. The fuck is this lame-ass shit? Make a new mode that we're gonna play two years into the game. Make some shit that actually has some replay value, like some replayability. Why are you giving me a game mode that's gonna be relevant for one week? And then once I get everything I want, I'm never going back to it. Yeah, bro, I'm gonna walk around in this boring ass cemetery three years into the game no no one's doing that towers of time lame people literally play this shit for skins that's the only reason can you actually make a good game mode to the point where i don't want to watch paint rather than go into the crypt can you do that please they made many games back in the day that had a replayability like the chess shit the fucking go-kart shit motherfuckers are playing that shit more than the regular game half the time that's how you know you made a good game mode chat this is the number one thing i wanted this is the number one thing i wanted in mk12 two v2s motherfucker add two v2s that seemed like some lit ass shit that shit seemed like it would be fun as fuck you queue up into combat league with your homie and you 2 v 2 motherfuckers oh you getting shitted on bro tag out you dumbass oh tag out ninja killer you fucking getting your back blown out right now let me come help you and then i come in and then say today that seemed like some lit ass shit oh my god 
I forgot this was the new game mode they added. Fucking AI battles. Y'all thought AI battles was better than 2v2s. This shit didn't even make sense how it worked. It was so stupid. What type of fucking boring ass, dumb ass game mode is this? I guarantee you there's less than 14 people playing that shit right now as we speak. Bro, my eye is literally twitching how mad I'm getting right now. My left eye is twitching. Chat, they should make a battle royale Mortal Kombat mode. Oh my God. Tell me that wouldn't be poggers. It'd be like some shallow monk shit like you running around third person like shallow monks I, I feel like there's some things i'm missing but for the most part those were the biggest things i have a problem with in this game that needs to get changed in the next game if y'all got any changes or anything you want to see in mk12 let me know in the comment section down below that's pretty much going to conclude it um thank you guys for watching the video and i'll catch you in the next one